Chia seeds and flax seeds are both considered to be superfoods for diabetics. But are they really all they are cracked up to be? And which of the two are ultimately better for diabetics? Stay right here as we reveal the good, the bad, and the difference between chia seeds and flax seeds, and what they can do for you. Plus, coming up, we'll tell you how to get two free gifts to help you manage your diabetes. Right now, let's begin the battle. It's chia seeds versus flax seeds. Which is best for diabetics? Many seeds, such as chia and flax, have health benefits, but you have to unlock them. In this case, that means grinding them up, soaking them, or simply chewing them really well to get to those amazing healthful properties. Otherwise, seeds will just pass through your digestive tract intact without giving your body the benefits hidden within these tiny nutritional powerhouses. That's right, many people sprinkle seeds on their salads, rice, or in their smoothie, and they don't realize they're only getting a fraction of the benefits. So sure, go ahead and add seeds on top of your food for added flavor, but be aware that if you don't grind, soak, or fully chew your seeds, you'll only get some of the benefits. Right now, let's break down chia seeds. When you hear chia seeds, you might picture one of those, um, pets. Chia seeds may not be something you've thought about eating, but did you know that these particular seeds are perfect to add to certain drinks? If you soak chia seeds, they thicken, absorbing a good amount of water. So it's a great idea to soak your chia seeds in water for at least 20 minutes before adding them to a smoothie. This will help you acquire a bit of extra hydration. But however you choose to incorporate chia seeds into your diet, they'll provide you with some powerful health benefits. So let's check out the good news about chia seeds. Number one, chia seeds are rich in antioxidants, omega-3 fatty acids, and fiber. Their antioxidant, omega-3 fatty acid, fiber, and magnesium contents can all help reduce the risk of diabetes complications. Within just three tablespoons, these seeds contain 30% of the manganese you need in a day, 11% of the thiamine, 27% of the phosphorus, and 22% of the selenium recommended to keep your body healthy. Number two, chia seeds are a great source of calcium. A three tablespoon serving of chia seeds has 18% of your recommended daily intake of calcium, according to healthline.com. Regular calcium intake is essential, not only for strengthening bones and teeth, but also for maintaining healthy blood vessels. Number three, chia seeds have more fiber. In three tablespoons, chia seeds have 11 grams of fiber compared to the eight grams you'll find in flax seeds. Fiber is critically important to a diabetic diet to aid digestion and help stabilize blood sugars. So now you can see that chia seeds have a wide variety of health benefits, which should be expected from something labeled as a superfood. But could there be a downside to these powerful seeds? We'll give you the inside scoop in just a second. But first, we wanna give you two free gifts. Discover an entire world of diabetes fighting foods with our new book, Superfoods for Diabetics. Plus, hear exclusive insights from some of the world's leading medical and nutritional professionals by watching episode one of our new series, That Diabetes Documentary. Both gifts are free and waiting just for you. Simply click the link in the description below to grab both. And now it's time to learn the bad news about chia seeds. Number one, that high fiber might not benefit you. Chia seeds have 11 grams of fiber, which is good, but they also have 12 grams of carbs in that three tablespoon serving. So you'll end up with a net of one carb. This means that while the fiber amount within chia seeds can help your body process the carbs from these seeds, they won't necessarily aid your body with managing any extra sugar you consume with the rest of your meal. Does that mean that flax seeds may actually offer a better fiber to carb ratio? We'll find out shortly. Number two, 
chia seeds have less protein and omega-3. You'll find 4 grams of protein in the serving of chia seeds versus 5 grams in flax seeds. 1 gram of protein might not be a big deal, but then again, if you're eating a plant-based diet and avoiding meat, it might come into play. However, the big difference comes when we look at omega-3 fatty acids. These are fats which actually aid our body. They can help lower triglyceride levels, slow the buildup of plaque in arteries, and even lower the risk of heart disease. But chia seeds have just 4,900 milligrams of omega-3s in a three tablespoon serving, compared to the 6,500 milligrams you'll find in flax seeds. Number three, chia seeds have a less healthy ratio of omega-3 to omega-6. One of the bigger problems with the standard American diet is the high amount of omega-6 fats compared to omega-3s. Medical professionals recommend that we keep a 4 to 1 ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fats. However, by some estimates, many Americans currently consume 10 times as much omega-6 fat compared to omega-3 fat. Some people have reported eating as much as 30 times more omega-6 fat than omega-3 fat. While omega-3 fatty acids can be beneficial to your health, eating a high amount of omega-6 fatty acids may raise your blood pressure, increase inflammation, and heighten your risk of heart disease. That's why it's important to note the difference between chia seeds and flax seeds when it comes to their omega-3 to omega-6 ratios. Luckily, both types of seeds will give you a higher portion of omega-3 fatty acids than omega-6 fatty acids. As we mentioned before, one serving of chia seeds has about 4,900 milligrams of omega-3s, but they also contain about 1,600 milligrams of omega-6. Flax seeds have 6,400 milligrams of omega-3 and 1,700 milligrams of omega-6. So while flax seeds have a bit more omega-6s than chia seeds, flax seeds have a much higher ratio of omega-3 fatty acids than chia seeds. We'll look at this again when we compare chia and flax seeds to really evaluate their benefits and drawbacks. First, it's time to take a closer look at flax seeds. Flax seeds, what they are and how they help you. Flax seeds, also known as linseeds, have a nutty flavor. You can purchase ground flax seeds, but it's better to buy whole seeds and grind them at home yourself. That's because they have a high fat content and will spoil more quickly once they've been ground. You can also use flaxseed oil, more commonly called linseed oil, but there are a few drawbacks. We'll get to those in a sec. For now, let's explore some of the main benefits of flax seeds. Number one, flax seeds have magnesium. Flax seeds are a good source of magnesium, a mineral that plays a key role in blood sugar control. Magnesium helps your muscle cells better utilize insulin. In fact, we need magnesium for literally hundreds of chemical processes within our bodies. This mineral used to be plentiful in a wide variety of produce. Unfortunately, modern day farming methods have depleted magnesium levels in soil. But being insulin resistant means you'll lose more magnesium than someone who is not, according to Magnesium and Type 2 Diabetes, published in 2015. Studies have also shown that prolonged low magnesium intake can raise your risk of type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome. So magnesium is important for everyone and harder to get from food than in previous centuries. But it's even more critical for people at risk of type 2 diabetes and those already managing this condition. That means eating flax seeds is a wonderful way to help you up your magnesium intake. Number two, flax seeds make an excellent replacement. Remember how chia seeds will thicken in water? Well, flax seeds are a bit different. Instead of soaking the seeds whole, you can grind them and then add water to make a mixture similar to eggs. In fact, you can use this mixture as an egg replacement if you are looking to reduce your cholesterol intake. Number three, flax seeds can reduce the risk of heart disease and cancer. Flax seeds contain alpha-linolenic acid, otherwise known as ALA. 
In fact, flax seeds contain possibly the highest concentrations of ALA in the plant world. Clinical trials have shown that a high intake of alpha-linolenic acid may have the ability to reduce your risk of coronary heart disease and stroke. One study revealed that people who regularly consumed flax seeds for four weeks had a 6% reduction of total cholesterol and a 9% reduction of LDL cholesterol. Plus, flax seeds also contain incredibly high levels of lignans. In fact, up to 800 times more lignans than other plant-based foods. Lignans are antioxidant polyphenols, which have been shown to reduce the risk of certain forms of cancer. So, do flax seeds have a downside? As previously mentioned, flax seeds do come preloaded with a high fat content. One tablespoon of ground flax seeds, which equals 7 grams, contains 3 grams of total fat. That means roughly 42% of flax seeds are pure fat. Again, they contain a good ratio of omega-3 fats, but in general, you'll probably want to keep your portions of these seeds low so that you don't overdo your fat intake in one sitting. Plus, flax seeds may also thin your blood, which is usually good news when you want to lower your blood pressure. However, you'll probably want to avoid consuming flax seeds if you're currently taking aspirin or other blood thinning medication. Additionally, while flaxseed oil can make its way into your cooking routine, this version of these seeds might not give you the same health benefits as their seeded counterparts. That's because the oil version has all the beneficial fiber and lignin content stripped. Also, flaxseed oil can spoil faster than whole seeds, which keep for a full year. Now, it's time to put these seeds to the test. How do chia seeds and flax seeds stack up when they face off? When we compare the nutrition of these two seeds, we find a few surprises. While chia seeds have 12 grams of carbs and 11 grams of fiber for one net carb, flax seeds have 8 grams of carbs and 8 grams of fiber. That carb to fiber balance can make flax seeds a slightly better choice for blood glucose control. In a 3 tablespoon serving, chia seeds have 4 grams of protein, while flax seeds have 5 grams. When we look at fat content, chia seeds are lower at 9 grams. But here's where things get interesting. Flax seeds come in at 12 grams of total fat in a 3 tablespoon serving. However, flax seeds have a better omega-3 to omega-6 fatty acid ratio, 4900 milligrams of omega-3 to 1600 milligrams of omega-6. That's about a 4 to 1 ratio of omega-3s versus omega-6s. Chia seeds do provide quality omega-3 content, but its ratio just isn't quite as good as you'll find with flax seeds. Chia seeds clock in at about a 3 to 1 ratio of omega-3s to omega-6s. So, flax seeds have the advantage when it comes to healthy fat content. And now, the final comparison we've all been waiting for. Both chia seeds and flax seeds can bring you some amazing health benefits. But in this showdown, there can be only one winner. And that winner is... Flax seeds. Flax seeds edge out chia seeds when it comes to that omega-3 to omega-6 ratio. Flax seeds contain lignans to help you fight cancer. Studies have shown that regularly consuming flaxseed powder may reduce your heart disease risk by 29% and might decrease your risk of a stroke by 46%. But in the end, both chia seeds and flax seeds can do your body a world of good. Try adding chia seeds to a salad or a green smoothie. Try adding flax seeds to unsweetened Greek yogurt or steel-cut oatmeal. However you incorporate chia seeds and flax seeds into your diet, they can both help you fight inflammation, heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. So make sure to take advantage of these nutritional powerhouse seeds today. Well, that about wraps up this showdown. Don't forget, you can claim both free gifts right now just by clicking that link in the description below. We'd love you to hit that like button and keep in touch by subscribing to our channel. We're Diabetes Smarts, and we'll keep bringing you all the latest tips and tricks to help you fight back against obesity and diabetes. Thanks for watching. We hope you're having a diabetes fighting day.